yeah good evening friends we are into our next very important video which deals with a c program the first c program which we are seeing now it is for it is meant for addition of two numbers is yes? let us see before seeing the program let us see the c program structure c is a structured programming language c is a structured programming language where we need to follow the structure for writing a c program we can't write uh, in our own way we have to follow a structure let us see what exactly is there in the structure first of all we are having a documentation section where you are going to document the program then you are having link section then followed by definition section then followed by global declaration section these are all optionals we are going to see what exactly they are in the next slide then we are having main function section every program need to have the main function and it is the starting point of execution the first function which gets executed in a c program is main function as yes, this is a user defined function we are going to write the implementation of this function as yes, it is a user defined function we are going to define what exactly it must have that is body of that now in that first of all you will be having declaration section where you are going to declare the variables required for that main function declaration section will be having the variables required for that particular function then following with statements you cannot make statements first then declaration as yes, we need to follow the structure then closing brace that is flower bracket then if required then we are going to go with sub program section it is also optional if you want to have more than one function that is minimum is main function apart from that if you want to write more than that means if you want to add some more functions then it is called as sub program section where you are going to write user defined functions again now this is the structure you can pause the video note down all these sections we are going to see one by one what exactly the section comprises of okay you can pause it and you can view let us move forward further first one is documentation section now in this section we are going to write documentation regarding the program documentation regarding the program such as what is the program name yes why you are writing that program you can document first of all this program was named with this name then later on it has been modified or so on it's up to you next developer name who is the developer Yes, maybe a single single developer may develop the program, or a group of developers may develop a program. Maybe at once, maybe one after another. You can represent in documentation section. Then, on which date the program has been written? On which date the program has been compiled? On which date the program has got executed? You can write. It's up to you. Then. system name in which system you have executed or developed or compiled the program in which system it may be your desktop it may be a laptop it may be on your mobile phone yeah in future mobile phones also are going to come with this feature or it may be a intel pentium system it may be a amd pentium amd system or it may be a celeron system or it may be a macbook etc next exactly why you are going to write the documentation section means you are going to write uh, the intention behind writing the program or writing a group of statements called as a function or a single instruction is yes, in documentation section now whatever you write inside the documentation section will be ignored by the compiler Yes, it is not going to touch the whatever you are going to write inside documentation. That is, in other words, documentation will be having comments. Yes, we are having exactly two types of comments. One is called as single line comment. Single line comment means you want to comment only one line of text. For example, hello there, I am a single line comment. You can write up to your wish, but at the beginning you need to have two double slashes without a space. Then. the next one is in some compilers it is also allowing multi line comment generally c language will be having only single line comments but nowadays some compilers are allowing multi line comments where you are going to start with a slash then a asterisk symbol then your comments then the documentation part then asterisk slash that ends the multi line comment for example hello there i am a multi line comment okay let us move further 
Next section is link section. In this section, you are going to write the list of header files required by your program. For example, if you are using some built-in functions, all the built-in functions will be available inside the header files, which are predefined files by a compiler. Some compiler may be giving some set of header files, some may be giving some other. Now, for example, you are using printf. Printf will be available in stdio.h. Stdio.h stands for standard input output header file. All the input and output related functions are already written in stdio.h. Yes, like that you are having some more functions. For example, stdlib.h is standard library header file where you will be having a set of functions. Then math.h, all the mathematical related functions will be functions are already pre-written for example you may find you you may want to find the cos value tan value sign value power etc and many more are header many more header files are there in c depending on your requirement you can include them yes now let us write a program these are written in a program as hash include stdio.h again a header file is of two types one is built-in header file another one is user defined header file built-in header files comes with the compiler if you are going to design your own header file then it is called as a user defined header file now first of all hash include then stdio.h yes what is hash we are going to study now this is this whatever is written inside the angular brackets is called as a predefined header file like a studio.h maybe math.h if you are going to write hash include inside double quotes for example ali.h now this is a user defined header file i have written this header file and stored in the current working directory then we are going to use two double quotes all right do double quotes in between the name of the header file instead of using angular brackets now you can also use double quotes for stdio.h but for our identification purpose you are going to write either in double quotes or in angular brackets angular brackets represents a built-in header file and double quotes represents user defined header file only for identification purpose we are going to use these things next now let us see what exactly is hash or a pound symbol hash or a pound symbol is a preprocessor directive it is called as a pre processor directive who is going to compile or execute our program a processor pre means before processing the pro program you have to do a task compiler you are supposed to do a task what you have to do you have to include what you want to include a header file for example stdio.h include the stdio.h header file into the present program before processing is hash include header file that is stdio.h include the header file before processing the program you need to include the whole text that is whole lines of code which is available in that header file into the present program okay hash is pound sign or hash is a preprocessor directive means before processing the program processor must include concerned header file in the program let us see the next section definition section now if you want to define macros macros are going to expand at runtime expand at runtime now we are going to use this section means what we are going to assign a permanent value or a constant value to a token yes a token or an identifier whatever you call yes this value can be used in any part of the program if you try to modify this value you want to increment the value you want to decrement the value then you are going to get an error this is a constant value or a permanent value yes for example hash define we are going to use the keyword called as define what you are defining space max int max int is a variable or a keyword is or a token not a keyword it's a token is equal to you are assigning the value now throughout the program you are going to write max int when now whenever you are going to execute the program max int will be expanded to 32767 32000 767 that is our intention you can also write has defined pi is equal to 3.1415 this is the pi value you are defining pi wherever pi is there pi is a macro here or a constant is yes? or a permanent value pi wherever the pi is there at the time of execution it will be expanded or converted into 3.1415 
and so on you can declare any type of constant world now hash pound sign just now we all we have already seen what is hash preprocessor directive hash is preprocessor directive means what in this case it has to replace the macronym with the value before processing the program replace the macronym with the value before processing the program there before processing the program include a header file here replace the macro name or expand the macro name with the value before processing the program let us see the next section that is global declaration section now i'm having functions in my program function is a group of statements you are going to group a set of statements give a name yes then in that you are going to declare the variable then it is called as a local variable if you are having more than one function you can declare the variable outside the main then it is called as a global variable global variables are declared inside global declaration a function will be having variables then if you are declaring a function that is declaring the variable inside a function it is called as local variable if you declare the variable outside the function it is called as global variable global variables are declared under global declaration section we can define global variables in this section now scope will be throughout the program the variable will be created and can be used throughout the program can be used any in any part of the function suppose if i am having more than one function i can use wherever i require i need not redeclare the variable i need not redeclare the variable now let us see the next one main function section now here what you are going to do you are going to define your main the whole code will be written inside the main when and where when and where required you may call a function or not it's up to you now main is a function user defined function main must be defined only once in a program you cannot have more than one function with the call name called as main you can have only one function and it is the starting point of execution you may have n number of functions n number of lines for declaring the variables n number of include sections define sections in your program but the starting point of execution in any c program is main from main function it is going to start its execution now let us see the syntax first of all you will be having a return type return type may be void if you are not returning anything if you are returning a value then depending on the data type you are going to write there return type it may be integer may be float may be character double etc may be a structure may be a pointer variable whatever it may be then followed by main yes main is the name of the function here then these two parameters that is arguments are optional these two arguments are optional integer arg c argument count how many arguments are there integer is a number data type which represents a number without decimal value and arg c is a variable argument count next comma character asterisk arg v arg v is a array of pointer character now this two are optional don't concentrate now here we are going to study in command line arguments concept okay then followed by a flower bracket then you are going to write the code then close the flower bracket this ends our main function now let us see the last section of our structured programming that is c is a structured programming and it is the last section sub program section the same thing we can define sub sub functions in this section sub functions can be written before main or after main Yes, before main is preferable because you need not write extra code. If you want to write the sub function after main, then you need to write the function declaration above main. Function declaration means prototype. Prototype means a return value, function name, data types of the arguments. Then a semicolon is called as prototype. That is a return type, function name in brackets, argument data types. Yes. then semicolon is called as prototype you need to write that stating that the function is written below main it represents the function is written below main the definition of the function is below main then function body where you are going to write the code and code is written and called in function definition yes where if you are going to write the function body then it is called as function definition all sub functions can be called from main 
or other functions a function can call a sub function can call another sub function a main can call a sub function okay sub function can call main also but the first execution executing function is main main is going to call a sub function maybe that sub function may call itself or some other function it depends on the requirement then function can be called any number of times a function can be called any number of times let us see how to write the program okay some basics now we are going to generally use linux or unix operating system you can also use windows operating system if you are using windows operating system then you need to have a editor tc or tcc turbo c editor maybe any purchased one borland editor it's up to you now in our examples we are going to continuously use linux or unix where you are going to open a terminal yes if you don't have window if you don't have linux or unix operating system and you are running to you are trying to execute the programs in windows operating system then you need to have a working internet connection yes if you are having a working internet connection just open a website you can note down this website https www.tutorialpoint.com then unix terminal online.php i am even providing this link in the dis description below the video you can copy from there also yes then you can use a vi editor yes if you are going to open this link you directly you are going to enter into a unix or linux terminal there you need to use vi editor vi editor is same like a notepad or some other editor where you are going to type the code actually you are going to type the code now how to compile and run the c program first of all we need to know how to compile the c program how to run the program how to use the vi editor also yes now for compiling the program you are going to write cc s yes? file name dot c yes c compile file name dot c for executing the program after compiling you need to write if there are no errors if there are errors you need to correct them go back to the editor vi editor correct them and come back again compile yes cc file name dot c if there are no errors or warnings simply execute the program by typing dot slash a dot out you will be getting the output of the c program now in the previous videos you have seen algorithm addition of two numbers i hope you recollect yes input if you are having input two now values then output sum of two values then step one is always start step two display enter two values read value one comma value two sum is equal to value one plus value two then display the sum then stop this is the algorithm what we have seen we have even seen a flow chart let us see the commands in vi editor first commands in vi editor first of all you are going to write vi then file name for example if you are writing the addition of two numbers vi addition dot c then create a new file with file name as a name of the file then you are having for example vi addition dot c this then press enter key on your keyboard then you might notice on the left hand side you will be getting tilde symbols on each following the cursor s yes, represents unused lines all the tilde symbols are going to represent unused lines for typing the program in order to type the program inside the vi editor yeah you need to type escape and i press escape key then press i for inserting the text your vi editor will be in insert mode then after typing the program you need to press colon q if you don't want to save the program you want to quit from the vi editor then press escape colon q if you want to save the program press colon w q w q is meant for save and exit in vi editor then let us see the flow chart just now we have seen the algorithm first of all you are going to have a start then you will be having enter two values read value one comma value two then you are going to process the instruction that is sum is equal to value one plus value two then you will be having a write sum then you are going to stop the flow chart now the same code we are going to write in c program that is c now first of all you are going to write dollar vi addition dot c in the link provided then press escape plus i for inserting the entering into insert mode then after typing the program you need to type this program that is this is my first program for performing addition this is documentation optional you may write you may not 
then hash include stdio.h the starting line after the documentation you are going to include the header file because you are going to use printf and scanf which are input standard input and standard output statements printf is a standard output statement scanf is a print standard input statement first of all you are going to write void main then then open in flower bracket now you are going to declare the variables value 1 value 2 and sum these values will are going to have numbers they don't have decimal numbers they are having natural numbers so we are going to declare them as integers int is a keyword which specifies value 1 value 2 and some are integer variables then printf enter two values the same as algorithm and flowchart you are going to write here enter two values now whatever is written in printf will be shown on the monitor then scanf percentage d percentage d because you are accepting two values in double quotes you are going to write percentage d if you are, if the variables are integers you are going to write percentage d if the variables are float you are going to write percentage f if the variables are character then you are going to write percentage c here in this case they are integers so you are going to write percentage d percentage d then comma ampersand value one address of value one at the address go and store the value which is provided by the user at the address go and store the value provided by user first value in value 1 second value in value 2 then sum is equal to value 1 plus value 2 you are going to perform the addition of value 1 and value 2 and store it in sum from right to left the instruction is going to get executed then printf in double quotes result is equal to percentage d here percentage d why you are going to write the same case that is it is an integer now sum the value of sum will be replaced at percentage d the value of sum will be replaced at percentage d then that's it we are going to stop the program now after typing the program what you are going to do escape plus wq then type cc addition dot c then dot slash a dot out this is general procedure whatever the program it may be addition it may be further any program you are going to compile using cc addition dot c if there are no errors you are going to type dot slash a dot out what is the program let us see here hash include std io dot h void main the same thing then this is the result that is generated yes enter two values i have provided 20 space 30 20 will be stored in value 1 30 will be stored in value 2 then i have pressed enter i got the result is equal to 50 that's it guys inform to your friends regarding this channel and press like button that's it. thank you